<laughs> Praise the Lord. Ratchet right Knucklehead here, a.k.a. Brother Lee Jr. Brother says, we turn our Bibles to Philippians chapter 2. We'll be looking at verse 7, and it reads, But made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. I'm a brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, there's a saying that goes out that, um, you know, living like the devil. And what that suggests is when you're living like the devil, you're living a licentious, uh, unbridled, drunken, debaucherous life where you're just doing all kinds of uh, immoral activities. While that is true, you know, living like the devil is actually just living under the law. Uh, the, the living where, where, where you feel a, 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 a something controlling you, oppressing you, and and, and you, you you always just ha have someone over you, uh, overseeing you, and and just looking uh, uh, for your faults, your, your your mistakes, and your shortcomings. That oppressive uh, sensation, and and that's actually living li like the devil, in the, because the living under the law. But uh, 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 when, when it comes to uh, the believers on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that's not the way for a believer is to live. You know, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was uh, as 100 percent God. But also when he lived on the earth, he was 100 percent man. And in John chapter one, the apostle John described it. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father. And that glory that, that the people beheld was the God's good opinion of us, God's grace. And so when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, 100% man, he was living uh, 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 under the, uh, the, the, the grace, the goodness, the glory of God. And the Apostle Paul put it this way, uh, uh, Jesus being 100% man, in Philippians chapter 2, verse 7, where he said, but he made himself no reputation. He, he, he came down, Jesus came down as the Son of God. He came down and he lived on the earth as 100% uh, the Son of Man. He was 100% he's 100 Son of God, but when he came and took the form and made himself of no reputation, took upon the form of a servant. So now he's 100% man and, and, and was made in the likeness of man. But even still, he had, we beheld the glory. And that's God's good opinion of man. That's God's grace, the glory. And, and Jesus was living and, and operating under that umbrella of God's glory and God's grace. When our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ um, appeared to himself, to, to uh, John the Baptist while he was um, water baptizing people, we, we take a look in, 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 in Luke chapter 3, where, where John the Baptist sees our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and he says, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And then Jesus came to get water baptized, but Luke chapter 3 describes, and also it's found in Matthew chapter 3, but in Luke chapter 3, verse 22, after the John the Baptist water baptized our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and he came out of the, uh, the, the, the rivers of the, the, of the Jordan after the water baptism, notice what it says in Luke chapter 3, verse 22. And the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape, like a dove upon him. And so after Jesus was water baptized, came out, a uh, 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 Holy Ghost uh, 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 descended in a bodily shape like a dove came down on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And watch this. So, and, and a voice came from heaven and, which said, Thou art my beloved son, in thee am I well pleased. 
So the Holy Spirit came on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who was 100% man, 100% son of man. And, 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 and it came on the, the, the Holy Spirit like a dove, a body form, like, like a dove. And then a voice came, and that voice is Abba Father. And he says, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. So when the Holy Ghost came, the Holy Ghost came and, and went to 100% Son of Man and said that the, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. When we believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and we get baptized with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is reminding the one who's baptized that we are his beloved child in whom he is well pleased. And so Jesus operated in, in that mindset such that he shared this great, powerful principle and established truth to the disciples in the upper room in the tender moment. And if we look at John chapter 14, verse 10, when he's uh, 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 sharing this tender moment and he gives an, a, a powerful insight to being 100% uh, a man, but walking with the, uh, the acknowledgement and the awareness of, of the Holy Spirit, the, the, that, that, that he's the beloved of, of, of God in whom he's well pleased. Where he shares in John chapter 14, verse 10, again, this tender moment with the disciples, Again, the, the, the Holy Spirit came on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. A voice came and said, Thou art my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. And, and, and Jesus was walking in that reality that God loves him. And he shares this in John chapter 14, a tender moment with his disciples. In John chapter 14, verse 10, he says, Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father, right? the Abba Father, our Abba Father dwelleth in me. Jesus is telling this to the disciples, and he doeth the works. And so when Jesus was doing the miracles, whether it be blind eyes can now see, the lame could walk, the, the lepers were cleansed, deaf people could hear, uh, and, and, and all these miracles, it was the Father... That, that Jesus says, but the father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Because Jesus Christ is a hundred percent man during his earthly ministry, but it was the father hey, that dwelleth in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that doeth the work. And so Jesus was operating in the awareness that God loved him because he said in Luke chapter 3 verse 22, this is my beloved son and in whom I well pleased. And he operated in that. And even when he would pray to the father, and if we look at who he, when he would pray to the father in Hebrews chapter 5, verse 7. Look at the Hebrew writers speaking about uh, the, 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 uh, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who's 100% man. In Hebrews chapter 5, verse 7. Watch this. He says this. Who, in the days of his flesh, in the days of when he was operating as 100% the son of man, uh, 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 Jesus Christ, who, in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong cryings and tears unto him, unto who's him, our Abba Father, that was able to save him from death and was heard in that he feared. And this fear is not a, a several, uh, an ultimate fear. No, this fear is, uh, is awe and worship of his Abba Father. And so he operated in that. He was living uh, on the grace where our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And as a believer, we're living on the grace Knowing our Father loves us. Knowing when we, when we believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and baptized with the Holy Spirit and a, 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 the voice comes from heaven and says, Thou art my beloved child, him whom I well please. And, 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 and the Father uh, uh, dwells in you. And when you're praying, and, 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 and you're praying that he's able to save you from any situation, circumstances, surroundings, because you love him and you know that he loves you. And then when we think about a prayer that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said, and when you're living under grace, not under the law, but under grace, in 
in John chapter 17, verse 18, when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ gives a, a high priestly prayer to the Father on our behalf. Listen to what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ says. In John chapter 17, verse 18, he says, As thou hast sent me into the world, and, and, and thou, the Father, has sent me, the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, into the world, even so I, the Lord Jesus Christ, also sent them. And who's them? The believers. Remember, this is the year 2021. 2021 believer in Christ in spirit. The apostle Paul said it this way in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 and 21. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. And the life that I live, yet not I. Christ liveth in me. And the life that I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loves me and gave his life for me. Therefore, I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteous came by the law, then Christ died in vain. And when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was praying for us, for the believer, and in, in John chapter 17, verse 18, he says, As thou, the Father, hast sent me, the Lord Jesus Christ, into the world, even so I have also sent them, the believer, into this world. He didn't send us in a world to, to live under the law like the devil wants us to. No, he sent us to live under grace and to be all that we're called to be to his son, our Lord, our Savior, and sooner coming King Jesus Christ. So we're no longer under the law. You don't have to live like the devil wants us to live under the law. No, live under the grace that Jesus has made available to us, to the believer. Praise the Lord! May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his conscience to you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And unto him that is able to keep you from falling, present you faultless in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. Man, I got to go to a praise the Lord dance. Praise God. Woo.